Why are some people hairier than others? Genetics and hormones. Testosterone plays a big role in terminal hair growth, which is why men tend to have thicker, darker body hair than women. But even beyond gender, ancestry matters. People of Mediterranean or South Asian descent, for instance, often grow more visible body hair than those from East Asian or Native American backgrounds. This variation is completely normal, and just another reminder that human biology isn't one-size-fits-all. And why does hair pop up in weird places as we age? As hormone levels change with age, the body's hair distribution can shift in strange ways. Testosterone can cause scalp hair to thin, while simultaneously increasing growth in places like the ears, nose, or eyebrows. In women, a drop in estrogen during menopause can result in new facial hair. In other words, as you get older, your body hair doesn't disappear. It just relocates. Do we still need body hair in the modern world? That depends on what you mean by need. From a survival standpoint, we could probably live without most of it. We have clothes, air conditioning, soap, and antibiotics. But evolution doesn't work like a software update. It's not optimized for modern convenience. It's designed for survival over millennia. So just because something seems outdated doesn't mean it's useless. 